ハロー、Welcome to Cure Disease クリチャンネル。My name is Junko Shiozawa and she is my daughter Kuri. Kuri has a very serious disease called DRPLA. It causes the brain to atrophy. Inherited progressing disease. This channel's goal is to find cure for many diseases. And I want to share Challenger's life. It's great goal. I have two reports to share with you today. They are very important. So please watch them through to the end. The first is about the annual meeting of the Japanese Society of Neurology. That was recently held in Japan. And the second is a follow up report on the clinical trial of DRPLA, which is great news. First of all, let me introduce about DRPLA. DRPLA is a disease in which the brain atrophies. It progresses. While suffering from various symptoms such as ataxia and personality changes. Most patients are Japanese. The disease is hereditary. Kuri inherited the disease from her father. It was 15 years ago that we found out the name of the disease. Kuri was 13 years old at that time, and we were told that she would not live to be 20. I was shocked. I wanted to help my husband and daughter, so I did various activities, but their disease progressed. Seven years ago, my husband passed away. Hoping that Kuri would get the medicine in time. I was sad. I cried every day. It was really hard for 15 years. It was a long time. But a few years ago, things started to change little by little. Medical advances have been remarkable. And I began to hear hopeful words from doctors and researchers. Cure DRPLA, which promoted DRPLA treatment on a global scale, was also a s e r v i c e s of which I am a member of the board. In February of this year, the long awaited clinical trial began. The world's first experimental treatment for a single individual with DRPLA was conducted in the United States in what is known as N of One clinical trial. This trial utilized ASO technology in cooperation with the non profit organization N l o r e n I am applying Kuri to be the second clinical trial in the world. But I didn't know if Kuri, whose disease had progressed, would pass in Lauren's review. I am praying that the clinical trial will be successful. And in the meantime, I am establishing a DRPLA family group in Japan. It is a small group of patient mothers who are exchanging information. And supporting each other. Finally, I would like to report on the first one. From May 29th to June 1st, the conference of Japanese Society of Neurology was held in Japan. Neurologists from all over Japan gathered at the conference. Many doctors and researchers also gathered from overseas. We had a booth for the first time at the DRPLA family group. It was difficult to prepare for the first time, but 
mothers or patients gathered from all over Japan, and we were able to tell the doctors about the current situation. Even though there is a high concentration of patients among the Japanese population, DLPLA is not well known among doctors. We told them about the pain of the disease and the social difficulties we are facing. We also exchanged information with other patient group. Thank you very much for everyone who cooperated with us. And one more thing. I recently received a call from Dr. Leo in Hawaii who is helping us with the clinical trial of Kuri. He said, Enrolem has given us permission to apply for the clinical trial for Kuri. In reality, there are still hurdles to overcome, but we are able to take the first step. Thank you very much. Dr. Rios, Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience staff celebrated us with rays and balloons. I was already in tears and the staff cried with me, which I really appreciated. By the way, people in Hawaii are good at surprised. After 15 years of waiting, I was finally able to take a first step. I am sure my husband is happy too. But my dream doesn't end. My dream is to get the medicine to the DRPLA families in Japan and around the world as soon as possible. It will have an impact not only on DRPLA, but also on similar diseases as I have talked about in other videos and what I have learned in the 15 years. Until now, we could only leave it to the researchers. From now on, it is important for patients and their families to get together and to build up the government and social momentum. I have learned that this is a shortcut to a cure. Let's work together with those who suffer from other diseases as well. So never give up. Tomorrow will be a good day. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>